were to read him. Of the first public speech that I made on a stool in front of the gate of Maulana Adar College. And from there my career began and I, I became a I lecturer of history. I continued for 31 years in teaching history at City College and now presently I am a guest faculty of Calcutta University Islamic History and Culture Department and a guest faculty of Alia University in the Department of History. It was this college which taught me how to manage an event and their dad gave me experience and later on I became the assistant general secretary the general secretary and the president of one of the biggest sporting club of India, that is Mahmoud Sporting Club. It was here that I learned how to manage a big organization and I became the general secretary of Muslim Institute and for the last 30 years I am continuing with that course till now. So Maulana Azad College has given me the opportunity of not only getting the degree of graduation but I am proud that I can claim that I understand history. When I was a student, Professor A. W. Mahmoud was the principal and he was our teacher. And he told us in class, in our honors class, that when he will retire, he will produce two students who will at least understand what is history. And his prophecy came to be true. And I can claim that I am one of the two students that he taught at this point. <coughs> Before I dwell on the subject of my discussion today, and that is a very important one, I have been asked that there are students who may be having difficulty in understanding English. So, may I speak in Urdu so that you can understand it? Or shall I continue speaking in English? It is up to you. So English. So English. Okay. So now my discussion could concentrate around one of the important aspects of Maulana Abdul Kalam Adad's life and thought. Maulana Abdul Kalam Adad, as a builder of modern Indian nation, as a builder of modern Indian nation, he was a multi personality. He was a great scholar of Islamic history, of Islam, of Islamic jurisprudence. He was a poet, he was an orator, he was a commentator on the Holy Quran and he was a great statesman and what not. But his most important contribution to our nation has been the building of a secular, indivisible, united nation of India. So what we call today our composite Indian nationalism and composite culture are the result of our historical experiences spread over thousands of years. The man who realized this fact of history in the modern period was no doubt Maulana Abdul Kalam Azad. But for the evolution of this composite nationalism, in the modern period, he considered the Hindu-Muslim unity as first
first and foremost three requisites. Adab attach great importance to communal harmony while addressing a provincial assembly of the Khilafat movement at Agra on 25th October 1970. He referred to Hindu Muslim he referred to Hindu Muslim unity and cooperation and the covenant of the Holy Prophet, Prophet Muhammad, who entered into a contract with the local citizens of Medina during his time, that is called the Compact of Medina, or in Arabic, Isaac and Medina. Azad used the phrase Ummat e Wahida for a joint Hindu Muslim nation. The impact of Arab nationalism on his mind was tremendous. But what are the influences that went to make up in his ideal of nationalism? In short, it may be summarized like that, the first influence that, that was put on his mind, mind was his ancestry, his family. His forefathers came from Arabia, no doubt, but, but he he having followed the traditions of his family, his ancestors, he refused to sign the infallible edict of Akbar. And then his own father, he also refused to practice un-Islamic practices that was prevailing during his time. And his forefathers never feared the political power of the time and they expressed their view very boldly. Whatever they had to say, they did say in front of them. And this tradition, Maulana Abul Kalam Allah also adopted and he never feared of any personality, whether I am in great or I am in powerful. He expressed his ideas boldly and that is why we find that he was not liked by the general ages of the Muslims. So this trait of his character is very much pronounced. Then we find another influence of his mind was that of writings of the Mutazalites. Mutazalites is a group of philosophers in Islamic history who professed pure rationalism. They did challenge the Islamic ideas, Islamic practices and Islamic thought. And they judged each and everything on the touchstone of reason. So Mutazalites writing and it had a great influence upon him and he himself became a follower of their writings and he planned to write a history of the Mutazalites himself but after writing a chapter on them he abandoned the project. But his ideas inspired the rationality of the Mutazalites so even being a conservative Muslim he always was reasonable. He always had I mean, used logic whenever he expressed his idea. So this influence was predominant in his personality.